Welcome to a Divi tutorial by WordPress for Translators. In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can add a logo to your full width menu within a full width section. First, let's have a look at how that menu would look by default. So I have a page here and there's no content yet, but for now I want to add a full width section. I'll drag that to the top and delete this. And then I'll insert a module, the full width menu, and I'll select this menu and hit save and exit. Now when I up update this, and I click view page, you see that I have this menu here, but I also have the header menu and the footer. Now on this particular page, I don't want to display the footer because maybe I have my own, whichever. Let me click the cookie notice. So we're going to go back and hit blank page. And if I refresh that page now, all it should show is this custom menu. Now, first thing we want to do is style that menu. So I'm going to go over to Appearance Menus. So here is the menu that I'm using for this tutorial. You can create any menu you want. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the custom links and I will add the URL of my homepage, in this case, WP for translators.com. Now, about the link text, for now I'm just going to put a dot in here, and I will have that as very first item. Now I'll save the menu, and just so you see what that looks like, what it does. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I have a dot here. So now I need to get the logo. To do that, I'll just click create a new post. And in that new post in the visual builder, I will click add media. And I've already added the logo that I want. If you haven't done that, you can go to upload files and select files from your computer. And if at all possible, you will want to create a image that is about the size that you want to display. In my case, this is 115 by 115, as you can see over here, and I'm just going to use that. Now, if I click into the text, then you see that we get an HTML piece of code, I guess you could call it. In any case, I'm going to copy that as it is, and then I'll just head on over back to my appearance and menus. Yes, I will leave the page because I did not want to save this post. And now I'll click here into the custom link, and in the field navigation label, I will paste that piece of code. Now don't worry about this here showing up because that will be replaced by the image. I'm going to save that for now. And then I will want to go to the screen options up here and activate CSS classes. So now when I click on the drop down here, I get a new field that is called CSS classes. And here you can just decide how you want to name that. I have named that logo full width menu. So I'm going to add that class here. And then save that. On the other menu items, we're going to add another class. And in this case, I call that menu padding. I'll do that to all of the pages. 
for all of the other links. Technically, you will want to do this for every item in your menu. There we go. And then just hit Save Menu. Now if I head on back over to my page and I refresh, you see that I have the logo in my menu. But that still does not look right. So what we're going to do now is head on over to Divi and go to Theme Options and scroll all the way down to where it says Custom CSS. Let me turn off this for a second. And then I'm going to paste this code in here. And you will find that in the show notes. Hit Save Changes. And then if I refresh this, you can see that the menu items float a bit higher. But this is still not right because I want to have the links way over here. So what we do now is we go back to Pages, go to the page where we added the full width menu, and we're going to go through the settings. Click Design, and select Right Orientation. And then you can, of course, style the menu text. I'll just go for bold and maybe put that up to 16 just so it's more legible. Save exit update update and refresh. And you can see this has moved over to the left and our logo is still on the right. And if I open this in a new tab, or if I were to click it, it would lead me back to the home page. In this case, the defined home page is still a under construction uh, page, but it's doing what it should, but it's still a bit too big. So what can I do to make this logo smaller? I will go back to appearance and menus. And in the custom link, I'll just scroll over to where it says size. You'll just have to move your cursor all the way to where it defines the height and the width. And I'm going to say I want this 60 times 60. Save menu. And if I refresh this, I have a smaller icon here. For my home button. If your links in the menu are too high or too low, you can go back to your theme options and your custom CSS and you can play with the top padding. Just to show you what it does, I will add a hundred here, save changes and refresh this and you see the menu comes all the way down. So this is how you can play with these values. The logo full with menu float left important. I see there's a space missing just for accuracy. I put the padding to zero so that the logo is as far up as possible. So put this back to 20, save changes. And there you go. And I do not have a footer on this page. This is a great solution if you want to exclude the footer on a particular page. You could also go ahead and if you edit page and you save this layout by hitting the hamburger icon in the section, add to library and call this full with header with logo. You could also make it a global item and that way you can put it into other pages. But for single pages this is a great solution if you want to exclude the footer. 
If you want to exclude the footer site-wide on all of your pages, there's going to be another quick tutorial on that coming up soon, and you will find it on the website. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much.